Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Uh, we found her. We found her. She's back. Uh, she's still sick, though. I am. I'm trying. So it is time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. So we thought uh, you know, we had to make sure we got her in. We got her in for this video. And and this is, uh, this is interesting. This is a Disney cast member, former Disney cast member, who was terminated after an altercation at the... Uh, the glow card, is that what they call it? Yeah, the, uh, the Magic Kingdom. The Magic like Kingdom. 15 minutes before the shift was over. 15 minutes before her shift was over. Or the park closed or whatever, yeah. So, yeah, this poor woman, um, she broke character because she yelled the F word back, which is probably what got her fired. I mean, I yeah. wouldn't have been able to hold out as long as she would have. I would have told him, you know, before that. But, um, yeah, she got fired from the college program because she was being harassed. And she is being harassed. You can hear it in the video. Um, and I'll explain the situation in a minute. But she fought back a little bit at the end when she was walking away, and then she automatically got told she had 24 hours to get out. So we're going to talk about this because a lot of people are like, how come Disney lets their guests behave the way that they do? I'm like, well, it's because the cast members aren't given the authority or the permission in a lot of cases to curtail the behavior before it gets well, you can see fights and the cast members sit on the side. They're not touching. One, they could get hit. Yeah. And two, you know, they don't want the liability, I'm sure, for the parks. But three, I think they're told they're not allowed to intervene. You we, know? We've seen situations. There's the one that sticks out in my mind was when we were waiting for the Main Street Electrical Parade. Yes. And I still remember the guy's name was Andrew. His name was Andrew. And uh, God, he had, he had a hell of a time with this woman. Very entitled. He's like, look, you got to stay behind the tape. She, she kept wanting not... to stand in the walkway. Yeah, she kept wanting to stand in the walkway. Like, you got, and after a while, he just, he went and got a manager, and the manager tried to talk to her, and she's like, I paid good money to be here. I'm going to be wherever, whatever. And they just kind of let her go, you know? And I'm like, what the hell? Like, anywhere else, it would have been like, ma'am, get your. You're out. We're escorting you're out. you out. But they're not going to do that because it's Disney. It's right. But magical. I love, I love how, you know, they're so pushing and they're so about diversity and inclusion and everything else. And then they let, you know, I, it sounds like the person who was screaming at, is it Corinne? Corinne, yeah. Also is, is, is ethnically diverse. But they let one of their cast members, you know, who's ethnically diverse get treated like shit. And then they fired yeah. them because yeah. of entitlement from guests. Yeah, and and that's that's the unfortunate uh, truth. The, the, the cast members at Disney, they the, all the parks, put up with an incredible amount of stress, an incredible amount of belligerence. I've seen people be belligerent to them. You know, uh, it's they're it's doing their best. They're doing their best. You know, they do what they can do, and uh, you know, but they have to maintain that that Disney magic. And unfortunately. Uh, Disney magic to some people means you just, you know, do whatever you want to do. And mm -hmm. Cause I paid good money to be here. I paid good money to be here. And that's the know? attitude that we have here. So before we get into it any further, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants guys. You'll, you'll get a woohoo. Woo you, you muster up a woohoo. There you go. Uh, go out to pirates and princesses.net. And this one's actually coming from WDW news today. Mm -hmm. And uh, this could have escalated into another Disney parks brawl, but thankfully it did not. Unfortunately, uh, Corinne here got fired for defending herself. Mm -hmm. you, know? now you can watch the video. They have it linked. Or it's all TikToks. They have different ones in, on here linked. We're not going to play them on here, but you can go watch them and see what happened. So according to uh, some of the different ones that she posted after Corinne, that what she said happened was she was doing her, her shift. She has the glow card. Okay. So yes. she was helping another family that was there first. Yes. And this other family came up and their child is not a baby. She said it was a child, an older, a child that was not a baby. Was, oh, like one of those 10 year olds that they I push don't know. around the store. I don't know if it was that yeah. old, but it was a child that was a little bit older. It wasn't a baby. It was grabbing stuff um, in the cart. And she had said, you know, politely, you know, she goes, kids are going to be kids. And yep. she said, you know, about, you know, about wait until she was done with that one and not to touch stuff in the cart. Right. She said she never grabbed anything away from them, but like they're saying, and they weren't filming at this point. And then they were talking about she need to get a better job. And she said, well, she had, you know, she was in the, in the college program, which means you're in school. You have to be educated to have the job. Yes. You have to, it's like an internship. Yes. And she mentioned that. And then the woman pulls out the camera and they start recording her. Okay. And that's what leads yeah. into the video. That's the first video. So, they're in the, they're doing the, they're, they're yelling at the woman, they're getting in her face. And the guy is like saying, um, you better watch the attitude. Do a favor, watch the attitude. I'm going to smash all this stuff. And he says it. I'm going to smash all the stuff in your cart. He if you don't give me my way. Should have been ejected from Immediately, the Immediately as threats. Yes. And she's like, go ahead. Cause well, she's not going to do anything anyway. So she's like, go ahead and smash it then, I guess. Cause she can't do. And she kept telling them to please go to another cart. Please just, you know, go to another cart. 
And he's like, don't play with me. And then he's saying he's going to smash the stuff. And she's like, go ahead. And then she kept telling them, please go to a different cart. Because they were intimidating her, and she didn't like it. And they're like, no, we're going to buy from this cart. And she's having a whole bunch of trouble. And they're just being... And people, like I said, other people in the background are like, calm down, leave her alone. Yeah, right. And stuff like that. And um, she keeps telling them to go to the cart, and she's polite about it, because she doesn't want to do this. And the woman keeps being belligerent. And apparently... um, they said something about her being from the, the hood. You can't take what? the hood out of somebody. And she's like, I'm from New Orleans. In another video, she said, I grew up in the suburbs. I'm oh like, I'm not God. the hood at all. What, because she's black, she's the hood? I mean, come on, seriously? And then she finally just gets so fed up that as they're walking away, apparently she said, they kept screaming at her. And so she said, who are you playing with? And that she felt that like she was being fucked up. And she said that, which is, that's probably what got her. Right there was saying the F word in front of a bunch of kids. Yeah. So they probably didn't get her on that one. She shouldn't have said the F word. I, I think. But God. at that point, she was so frazzled. Plus, she was being intimidated. She was by herself. And these people were filming her as they're intimidating her, threatening to smash up a cart that she's responsible for. Because they're, because she told them to wait their fucking turn. Nicely. That the kid was grabbing, and she said, you know, hey, friend, just wait a bit. You know, when I'm done with this people, then I'll help you. Yeah, yeah. And that's all she did. But it wasn't good enough, apparently, for these people, uh, you know, according to the video. Well, that's what it sounds in the video. If you listen to the video, that's how it sounds, too. Yeah. And they just took the phone, the phone out, started filming her to, to get her fired and deliberately antagonizing her to try to get her to react so they can get her fired. She, she kept asking them to please go to a different cart. Um, and, and they would not leave. And then, then they get her. Then they, she does crack and screams back, and then she gets fired. Yeah. Then, then the text on the video, uh, they said to to help uh, help them find this disrespectful Disney employee, but it backfired. Most people actually took her side. Yeah, I would take her side too because it's like, you know, we have seen it firsthand. We have spent countless hours in Disney theme parks, and we have seen the abuse that the cast members put up with in real time. And I can totally imagine the situation, especially if it was. Uh, Close to close, mm -hmm. park closing. A lot of people want to grab stuff on the way out, and the glow cart's like right there, and they can just grab and go. But yeah. she, she's responsible for stuff on the cart. And if people are fingering stuff and grabbing off the cart, she's like, You can't grab it off the cart. You have to tell me what you want because she's going to be responsible for the merchandise that is gone. It's not accounted for if they're just grabbing stuff off the cart. I, all right. Yeah. The fact of the matter, the guy said, I will smash all the stuff he yeah, should have. He says it in the video. I will smash all the stuff in this cart. And she's like, Go ahead. He should have been ejected from the park. No, but instead of him yeah. being ejected they fire for, her. for threats and threatening yeah. the cast members, you know, and being permabanned, they fire her. Well, she did say the F word in front of a bunch of children. But that's okay because the people filming said it frequently enough, too. I would have. Oh, well, I, this is why I can never be a cast member. I'd be fired day one because I'd be like, oh, hell no, fuck you. And I'd probably get kicked out of the park because I'd see somebody else act like this and I'd be like, oh, hell no, fuck you. God. Yeah, so this is this is awful. So yeah, she said that um, they called her in for a meeting. They yeah, they said, told her to come to work, so she did. Yeah, they said she was suspended and later terminated. She said that Disney management called her during her suspension and told her to come in for her shift the next day and meet management at costuming. Now, I would assume it'd be like, okay, what happened? Do you have a video? We saw the video. The guy was being a dick, and you know you, you shouldn't have said the f bomb, but the guy was being a complete dick, right? Uh, Corinne drove to costuming. And I know that's like on the outskirts of the park. Mm -hmm. It's only for the me the meeting to be 30 seconds long. And they, for read her it, they read this off a of phone to her. Yeah. And for her to be terminated due to her breaking Disney character. Corinne says she burst into tears. Um, she repeats in the video that she loves her job and would do anything to see kids and parents at Walt Disney World smile. She felt antagonized and attacked. Uh, but takes full responsibility and was trying to stop the situation from escalating. She adds she wishes the family well. I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, but then, then because she's in the college program, you're in the dorms. Yes. So she had 24 hours to get out. 24 hours to get out. Can you imagine? You know, mom, dad, I'm moving to Florida. I'm going to go work for Disney. This is going to be awesome. And, oh, hey, mom and dad, because some uh, asshole threatened to smash my merchandise cart, uh, I got to come like, back Try to intimidate her. Try to intimidate her. I made a big deal out of it on social media. Now I got to come back home. Yeah. You know, well, you know what I mean, gets me too. The, the, first of all, Disney—they're constantly using interns. The college program well, are basically yeah, interns. They have a whole the dorms for them and everything else, and so they can get cheap fucking labor to run their shit. 
because they don't want to they, they don't want to pay for people you know that are higher trained or whatever they want to do this, these internships in quotes so that they have the college program and a lot now i mean there's a lot of people that go to the college program and love the college program and it's fun for them and it's cool and they get experience and for that i think it's great but it's also disney just trying to use um kids for cheap labor Okay. Is yeah. What it yeah. Is? That's I mean, the that's problem. what it is. That's a problem. It has far ex- gone past what it was initially there for. They have it for every department now. Okay. And it's really hard when you're trying to get stuff done. And every couple months, the whole department switches out because new interns come in and you have to start all over again. Um, and I can tell you that that happens often. But, you know, these kids are there trying to learn or trying to do their best. And this girl was clearly being intimidated by these people. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, by the way, the video comes across, you know, that's the way it appears to anybody watching the video. She shouldn't have said the F word. I mean, I will 100% agree there because that's you can't be a cast member yelling fuck at Disney Parks. I mean, <laughs> you, know? you can fuck at Disney Parks, apparently in the dorms. That's that's common I, I, knowledge. Apparently, but you just you can't cannot, wear a goofy mask while you, you're doing it. Apparently, you can't, yeah, you yeah. cannot you cannot yell fuck while you're like exiting the park in front of a bunch of people. All right. I understand that. That is completely understandable. I can understand them being mad about that one. That's a big oops. But um, this girl had been had been through so much shit at that point. And then, you know, but we keep seeing this happen to cast members. Now, yes, sometimes you occasionally get cast members who are complete asshats. Yes. But a lot of times it turns out that they're having a bad day. They have been dumped on. They're understaffed. Yes. They are expected to do way more work. They're not trained completely a lot of times. They have to put up with this shit, and they're not allowed to say or do anything about it. They're just supposed to smile and take it, and, you know, it's not okay. And But most cast members, you know, want to be there. They're there. They're happy to be there. They love seeing people happy. Um, you know, she doesn't look like she looks like she was doing her job and doing it fine until these people came up and started causing a problem. But they're allowed to tell them no. People were saying in the comments about – um videos we see people getting into the water or doing something they're not supposed to be doing on rides and you're like they should be getting permit perma ban for that yeah and the cast members are saying in the comments no you know what happens a lot of time a manager comes over and tells them not to do that then sends them on their merry way and they're allowed to go do whatever but even though they broke rules they did whatever they want they don't even get perma banned half the time because they don't want you because know, we don't want to kick people out of the park we don't have enough people here as it is yeah i mean this is this is like why why would you do like not only are you using cheap labor and I had, I had somebody from uh, the college program kind of vomit the horrible working conditions on me. The one time when I was down there for a media thing and he was like, yeah, I'm going to be done after next week. But he's just like, Bleh. you know, they overwork us. They do this, they do that. It's horrible. I hate it. Um, and I actually gave my email to, to write, to send me like, okay, well, if you want to talk about something, I he never did. Cause I think he's like, oh shit, they'll figure out, you know who it is. Mm-hmm. But, but we um, want to make sure that we protected people. Yeah. We don't yeah. out people, but you know, you have to put up with all this crap and you're putting these, these young people in the crosshairs and this is their impression of Disney. So you want to talk about like, you know, what their, their impression of Disney is, is you will, you will throw your employees under the wheels of the bus to protect some entitled assholes. Uh-huh. You know, they're, they're threatening to smash. Threatening threatening violence in the park and you're like you just have to smile and take them, it they, 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 they about them you know they, they fucked her up being an upsetter because i'm assuming because of that you know she's fired they did with, with their cameras out deliberately and try to intimidate this person and all according no, we, again we don't see both sides we don't there's no video talking about you know showing what happened leading up to this just what she's saying and that i want to make that clear we don't from what information we're given yeah, this is how it appears because she's like it wasn't a baby because they're claiming I guess that she ripped it out of the hands of the baby and everything else. She's like it was a child. Child, kids are gonna do kids what kids are gonna do. And she said, you know, kids being kids. And she was like saying, you know, they're excited. They don't think. And she was like, you know, hey friend or something like that. You know, yeah. you just wait. When I finish with them, I'll help you. But can you please not take things off the cart because she's responsible for it. She has to hand it to you or whatever. Right, and that probably you know I don't know what the policy is, but they might dock it from her pay if if yeah. uh, you know one of those. Uh, Olaf's go missing or something. It's and those things are for. expensive. You can get the same things on like you know Oriental Trading, but they and that's probably they get it from. They can sell, have we got stuff from there and it had like Oriental Trading on it? I don't remember, but I don't know. But they get like they get some of those bubble cheap. wands and stuff. They they pay a buck or two for them and they charge like twenty dollars. Yes, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like printing some of this money. Is absolutely ridiculous. But you know, I mean, she's not allowed to give it. She, she has to follow the procedure like everybody else. And then it escalated from that. So they're saying she was in the hood, threatening to smash her stuff, God. you know, trying to get her fired. And it worked. And then they gave her, like, Disney gave her, like, 24 hours to get out. If if it were me, 
Now, I don't know what the company policy is, but I would look at the situation. I'd be like, look, this guy threatened you. You know, maybe I'll give you a reprimand. It's retraining. For yeah, I'd be like, okay, they're going in for retraining. Yeah, we'll we'll just you know, we'll you know we'll talk about you know maybe controlling your temper or whatever. But we understand because the guy threatened violence you because know, because you told their kid to wait. Because you told their kid to wait. That I don't think that's a. I personally do not think that's a fireable offense. I would have been if it were my daughter, if it were Pinky Boo, and somebody got in her face. I'd be like, did you get a hit in? Before they left or not, yes or no. Like, if they're going to fire you anyway, punch a son of a bitch. No, you know, we're not. No, we don't doing that. And we not, do not tell our kids to punch people. Anyway, I have told our kids I have, to punch And people. I have to tell Neon, we don't hit people. That's how we used to do things in the hood. But apparently, you only get charged 500 bucks if you hit somebody. Yeah, apparently. Um, Because I got attacked in a parking lot over a parking space that I was parked in fairly and correctly. Yes. And the person was mad. They didn't think I should be there. And this this lady literally come running at me, starts pounding on me. I'm like, hold. She's like, I could have I could have kicked her ass so easily. You don't understand. Like I could have kicked her ass, but her grandkids are crying. I mean, oh yeah, some old broad. She's like, she's yeah. not old. I mean, I think she, she just had kids young, and her grandkids were crying, <laughs> she's, and she's just like wailing on me. God. And I'm just holding her hands like and she starts, starts kicking me. And then all of the at the end of it, when I you know, all the stuff and I was like she kept kicking at me and hitting me. She got a five hundred dollar fine. And I was like, man, please, if I had known that, I would have here's two thousand bucks. I get four I get four swings. You know what I mean? I get to hold her down. You get you know, I get well, like she if it was per swing, I should she could have got charged a lot more, but I mean you got, I get five minutes. Oh my four, god! Yeah, four is four thousand. Can be five minutes. That's bizarre. You know. Well, to but, be fair, they did they did kick her out of her her apartment building though too. But um, you know, because they didn't want her. But anyway, building, I mean, but. yeah. During this video, they make sure they say her her name out loud. They're like, what's her name? Did you get her name? You it's know, Chris from Orlando. Yeah, Chris from Orlando. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's just. I mean, these poor cast members. Like we've been there so many times. We've seen so much crap these people take and again sometimes you get really assholey cast members but it's not very often and usually if they are it's because something bad happened they're just fed up but yeah this poor girl got kicked out had 24 hours she said she takes full responsibility for acting out of character because she swore yeah. um but she said she felt threatened by his behavior and he was squaring up as though he was going to fight her so he was making gestures like like you know eh, eh, with his chest it's like he's going to fight her and she like, <laughs> i had the neighbor do that to yeah. me one time it's so funny he's so tiny he's so tiny he looks like a called scrappy do scrappy do and yeah. um she's like thought she was threatened i mean now she was walking away with somebody else with her at the time so she probably shouldn't have turned around and said anything else but i get why she did cuz i wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut either no i know that and i wasn't raised in the hood either <laughs> But I was raised that you don't have to take you, you don't have to sit there and like take abuse from people, and this person was abusing verbally abusing her. Yeah, at that, least of the way the video presents. Yes, um, and and this is the problem with social media now is that everything can be clipped. Everything. I mean, that's that, well. I hope Disney kicked them out of the park. I hope they were trespassed for threatening a cast member and threatening to smash everything in the cart and threatening her. Yeah. I hope that when you got you fired her that you you trespassed them. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I would. I, I, I mean, they post on their social media because they're like, hey, help us find the mm-hmm. help us find this girl. I'm like, OK, yeah. fine. Then you're you're out of here, too. You're never coming back to Disney because you threatened to destroy property. Like, yeah. That's and your, then, you're out then, of here. Yeah, because let's be honest. Disney cares more about the, the cart and the property than their own people half the time. But that is that is how it seems. So what if they followed her after work and beat her up? What if they had done something like that? You know, we see people follow people, other families at the parks because they are mad. They thought you jump line or something to, and then they physically attack them. And what sucks is if you're if if you get physically attacked, um, even if you don't fight back, you could get trespassed too. No, you didn't do anything. Yeah, it's absolute bullshit. So hey, Universal is probably hiring Corinne. You can you can go to Universal. Uh, well, it's probably one home. Yeah, because she was from like New Orleans, so she probably, yeah, she said she had to pack yeah, her car Tiana's, up. Tiana's Tiana's ride coming. It's based on New Orleans, and they're all about the people of New Orleans and all this other stuff. So they had a, a cast member from New Orleans, and you you just booted her because the people were verbally abusing her. Like she shouldn't have said the f word. Shouldn't I mean, have said that's the f word. Really bad look at, my, at the Magic Kingdom. I especially. I would have handled this. I would have handled this differently. But uh, I don't work for Disney. Uh, I don't think Maybe I ever made sure of that. I, yeah, I don't think I ever could. I, I'll be honest. I know how strict they are. I don't think I ever could work for Disney being on their payroll. Uh, we did, you know, uh, contracted work with them. We worked with them, but I don't think I could ever be We've on had payroll. NDAs and stuff with them. Yeah, I don't think I could ever be on payroll because I, I'd get myself in so much trouble. I'd, I'd be I'd be gone after like two days. 
I'd be like, fuck. We're just mad because you said, hey, Hollywood Studios, uh, the new Toy Story Land's okay. It's too hot. But it's too hot. It's and too that hot. Got you call, they got you a reprimand call. Like, you need to fix that. Yeah, and they treat their, it's so weird. They treat their uh, social media influencers like you are employees. You know? You've heard the family, so you have to, it's like the mafia. You have to do the family once, and it's just like, no, but it is too hot. And then ironically, like a week or two later, they put umbrellas up. Because guess what? Everybody came in and said, it's too fucking hot. It's too fucking hot. They didn't say fucking, though. Well, they said, did, fuck- but then they got promptly fired and sent home. <laughs> I just want to say, if you're visiting the parks, be respectful to the cast members. First of all, you paid a lot to be there, so did everybody else. You're not entitled to anything. Like that lady that was at the parade showed up the last minute, and then because they wouldn't let her stand in, in, in a, 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 a like a walkway, which you need for getting people out and escaping if there's an emergency, she was like being verbally abusive. You don't aren't owed anything. You paid the same as everybody else to get in. And cast members are there to help you, and most of them are going to be the most helpful people ever, but a little bit of kindness goes a long way, and there's no reason in hell you need to treat people like that. Like that family here, if they just waited a minute, she would have waited on you, same as everybody else. You know, just, you need to stop acting entitled when you're there. I know it costs a lot of money. Go somewhere else then, because you are not special. It's not, you know, it's all about you, contrary to the commercials, and you just show some respect. Anyway. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.